New Zealand CTLI How To Vodcast. My name is Hazel Owen. Today we're going to have a quick look at Flickr, which is a place online where you can store your photographs. This means you can back them up so that if your computer crashes or you lose your photo albums in some way, you still have the photos online. Flickr also allows you to share your photographs with your friends, your family, um, and maybe the whole world if you're interested in their feedback on your photography. It also allows you to do interesting things um, such as create mosaics and slideshows and things like that if you're interested in those types of things. So to begin with, the first thing we're going to do is open, I've got my Firefox browser open here, we're going to go to the Flickr site. So that's www.flickr.com, F-L-I-C-K-R. So this is the Flickr homepage. The first thing you're going to do is come up to the big button here and cl click create your account. Okay, and you're going to need a Yahoo ID. So click sign up, put in your name. You have to choose your gender and put in your birth date, the place that you live. You can put in your postcode if you want. And here are a couple of suggested Yahoo IDs. So I'm going to go for Hazel Owen at winemail.com and put in a password. Make sure your password is something that you're going to remember. And if I forget my ID or my password, I'm going to use this, a different um, email account. This will just be your usual email account. And some sort of security um, uh, question. Who was your childhood hero? And I'm going to choose Mark Todd. Then type the code you see below. A Z F B L B M L. I agree and create my account. Oh, okay, you do need your postcode. So here's your Yahoo information, and you click continue. You'll see that it's already put in your Yahoo ID, and then you put in your password that you chose and then click sign in. That's as easy as that. So this up here, choose your new Flickr screen name, that's the name that will appear beside all of your photos. So I'm just going to keep it really easy and keep Hazel Owen. And we're going to create a new account. And here we go. So, some of the things that it does to um, begin with is give you some ideas. You can have a look around Flickr, you can read the community guidelines, or you can upload your fo first photo or video. Now, videos will only show if you upgrade and pay to be a Flickr member. For the free version, you can just put in images. So, we'll just start by putting in some images. First, choose photos. So let's go find a photo. Um, here's a nice picture of an elephant. And it's got the file here. I can add more if I want to. Make sure before you start uploading that you um, name your photographs sensibly because it will make things a lot easier when they're actually online. If you upload something and decide that you don't want it, you can remove it. And here is where you set your privacy. Who do you want to see your photos? So private is only for you, visible to my friends and family, or visit, visible to everybody. So I'm going to choose private and visible to my friends and visible to for my family. So these are people that I invite to come and have a look. And then I'm going to go upload photos. And you'll see how long it's going to take. 
So if you've got a lot of photos, it's going to take a long time, especially if you're on dial-up. And when you're finished, you can add a description. I suggest this is a good idea because then you can do things like add the tag so that you can find your picture again. So these are keywords. So I'll have elephant, um, Indian, um, and you can change the title. So elephant, uh, and describe what the picture is. And Indian elephant, like so. And then save this batch. Okay, so here's my picture. It's online and only my friends and family can see this photograph. I can edit it if I want to. Um, and this is your photo stream is all of your photographs. So you can also search your photo stream. You can search from your contacts, your friends, um, from other groups, or just everybody's upload. So that's absolutely everybody in your um, in, in in Flickr who's uploaded things. Now, one of the things that you've got to do before you finish today is invite your teachers and any friends that you would like to see your photographs. So click on invite your friends. So it's in contacts, invite your friends. And then you put in the email address. So let's invite Yvonne. Here's my name. This is the message that you send. You can also add more people at once if you want to. Um, hi. Uh, So you can add a little bit more to the message if you want to and you can invite them to sign up to Flickr and your name's down here and then you click send so that means Yvonne can now see my Flickr account she'll get an email and she will click the link and it will bring her to this site so that's the basics of setting up Flickr if you've got, thank you very much for listening. If you've got any questions, please do give me, um, uh, drop me an email at hon at unitech.ac.nz.